Good evening. They thought the worst was behind them when they survived the pandemic. Now the operators of a South Bay food truck are dealing with another blow that put the brakes on their business. NBC Bay Area's Marianne Favreau is in the newsroom with a look at what has temporarily closed their kitchen. Maria Kitchen's food truck was severely damaged when someone driving a stolen truck sideswiped their truck. So for now, their kitchen is closed and their catering jobs are canceled. Broken glass, a mangled frame. Maria Kitchen's food truck is sidelined. It happened last month in San Jose. Someone driving a stolen food truck rammed into the parked vehicle. Now Rod Reyes says he can't drive the truck. The food truck is our main source of income. The Barria Kitchen chef and founder says he opened his Filipino food truck in 2017 to honor his late mother, Nilda. I was cooking in memory of her and also because you know, like I was I wasn't going to have my food, my mom's food ever again. But now because of the damage, he can't use the truck to prepare meals for holiday events. We've had to cancel caterings. We sh pop up at breweries all over San Jose and we've had to contact them saying, hey, I'm sorry, we can't, you know, come. Operations um, manager Selena Wong says the repairs will cost eight thousand dollars. On top of that, they've had to postpone their county health department permit inspection because their truck doesn't run. Then came yet another speed bump. Selena says their insurance company ended their coverage November 8th, saying it's no longer providing renewals to commercial food trucks. We were overwhelmed, anxious, sad, frustrated. The two say they are now asking the public for help to move forward so they can continue grilling up Filipino flavors for the community. Rod and Selena say they're not sure when they'll be able to get back up and running between repairs and inspections. It could be early next year. Back to you.